Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the subject of today's video newsletter, well, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at a software tutorial, this time now using Minitab as our software of choice. Hope you enjoy it. Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the subject of this Minitab tutorial well, we're going to take a quick look at the Pareto diagram. So I've got some data set up in front of me here uh, just to explain the context so you can understand what we're doing. The data was from a company uh, whose uh, supply chain system, the MRP system, other systems uh, were letting the company down and they were running out of parts. Uh, and as you can see, look, on the 10th of May, they ran out of quite a number of parts so this was quite a serious problem so they started collecting data what was the date what was the part number what was the area that got stopped what was the purchasing system that was trying to buy the parts which is very important then there's some free text which is what did they think the reason for the late uh, delivery or the late purchase or the, the non purchase of the item and finally they turned that free text into a code so there was a little bit of standardization on the fault codes. Now, what we're going to do, we're quickly going to do a Pareto just on the area that's getting stopped the most. So, in other words, which area is being affected most by these problems? So, very simply, now look, it could be that you go and look on the graph menu for a Pareto. But as you can see, if I look up and down this thing, I don't seem to have um, a Pareto option on the graph, which is very strange. So I'm going to go Stat, and it's in Quality Tools where the Pareto diagram sits. So a bit of a strange place for it, but there it is. Click on the Pareto. And then it says, well, okay, uh, where is the... Um, where is the data? So we're just going to go click on that look. The data is in the area that got stopped. We can have a look at the options where I can label it, title it. A title is a good thing. So we're going to say line stoppages May to June. And I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to click OK. And let's see what we get. I'll just drop this down so we can see it a little bit better. Let's click the graph so it pops out. There we go. And there, very simply, is the Pareto. Excellent. You can see that it does the, the, the basic count of all the events. It puts the cumulative line at the top, which is excellent. And of course, it also gives you the data down below. So all told, you know, a nice, simple way of prioritizing, organizing data. So you can say, well, OK, AM is suffering all the problems. Maybe we ought to go and work in the AM department, fix this area first, because that would fix, according to this, look, 43% of all the failures. So it's a very simple diagram. You literally, and all the, the, the software is doing, of course, is counting the number of times that AM appeared in that list. So, very simple. There's the Pareto diagram using Minitab. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial on that subject. If you've got any questions about Minitab that you want me to help you with, or indeed any questions about Six Sigma, uh, at all or indeed lean please drop me a message either in the comments below please subscribe also um, but you can also leave me an email if you send me an email on any question and you need a little bit of advice I'm more than happy to help you out and of course if you want me to come and help you inside your factory fix a technical problem please drop me a line I hope to hear from you soon